Hello and how's everyone doing today? Welcome to the channel if you're new, and if you're a returning viewer, I'm glad to have you back. And uh, welcome to another episode of Fallout 3. Um, as you can see by the name of this video, um, today's episode is going to be, I don't want to say a filler. Um, I mean, technically it could be considered a filler, um, but I wouldn't consider it a filler. If you guys don't like this type of video, you can move on to the next episode, uh, whenever, uh, when that gets uploaded. Um, but today's episode, we only have, uh, I think it's three episodes left. Four, if you include this one. Originally, there was only going to be two, but then I remembered halfway, or, yeah, close to the end of this episode, I remembered that Paradise Falls was still active. Uh, so in the next episode after this one, we're going to be going and assaulting Parasite, Par Paradise Falls, wiping out the raiders, and hopefully saving uh, some people while we're at it. Um, but that's the next episode. <clears throat> in this, in today's episode, um, I want to step back a little bit uh, from everything that was going on. And... Uh, just explore some vaults that we weren't able to. There's three vaults, I believe, that we explored together in this episode. And um, I also wanted to talk about my experiences um, playing Fallout 3. Uh, my first time playing Fallout 3, uh, some experiences, and also just some general uh, opinions and thoughts on uh, when I was doing the series. We're not doing it. I'm not done yet. Um, but my experience is doing this series also. I do throw in a little bit of uh, experience with New Vegas as well, kind of behind the scenes, scene stuff. I, I throw that in a little bit, talking about that. Um, but yeah, I guess I wanted to talk a little bit about, about the game uh, in general. And uh, that's what today's episode is. It's, it's a little bit of a longer episode. It's a little, about an hour and a half. <clears throat> um, there was some more stuff that I did want to talk about, but I looked down at the timer while it's recording, and it was like one twenty-five or something. It was like an hour or twenty-five minutes or something, and I was like, I don't want to make this any longer. So, <clears throat> hopefully, you guys enjoy this episode. Uh, if you don't, I understand a lot of people don't like the filler, I guess, episodes and all that and people just like to get right into the story um but if you do enjoy this episode um you know that's great um that being said grab your drinks grab your snacks and uh let's get into this So I think for today's episode, what I want to do is I actually want to kind of wear something, an outfit that we got at the very beginning of this series. <clears throat> I think what we're going to wear is the Vault 101 security outfit and uh, helmet. I think it'd be nice. So we're going to, you know, just drop off all this stuff. Uh, the power armor. We'll keep the glasses. <coughs> Um, apparently I'm over encumbered. No, I didn't think so. Whoops. Alright, there we go. <clears throat> also, so fun fact. <coughs> um, in, so this is a mod to be able to see through the helmet. Because uh, if I remember correctly, I could be wrong. I think in the vanilla, that's basically what follow three that's basic vanilla is a term for games that don't have any mods in them so i believe that the uh original follow three the vanilla follow three all the helmets i i think they were white like the the visors were white i don't think you could actually see through them i can't remember and uh yeah so oh, dog meat's in the way because of course he has to get out there you go um, what do I want to bring for weapons? Uh, so we'll bring Colonel Autumn's pistol. 
Um, <clears throat> we're going to drop the fat man. I kind of want to bring the incinerator. Because I want to play around with that a little bit. I think that would be fun. You know. Um, to use something that we don't generally use. Um, we'll keep the dart gun just in case. Um, get rid of this. Drought Vengeance. Oh, also, well, actually, no, I'll talk about that later. I don't want to spoil anything. Um, yeah, we'll get rid of the Magnum. And we'll keep... That should be okay, I think. That should be good. <clears throat> Unfortunately, there was one quest I honestly f completely forgot about, and unfortunately, it's time-based, so we can't do it, because we, uh, didn't, um, <coughs> we didn't find it on time. After you finish the quest, the Waters of Life, so basically, after, uh, your dad dies, and you, and Madison Do Lee, so Dr. Lee, and, um, everybody makes their way through the tunnels and once you get out of the tunnels uh when you get to the citadel if you travel to like megaton area close to vault 101 you'll actually get a um oh <clears throat> like a radio broadcast um and basically what happens is you get a message from Amada, and she wants you to come back to Vault 101 to solve some problems because some bad things have been going on. There's been riots. There's been crazy things. Everybody wants to be able to be let out of the vault, um, kind of like how you did. Um, so you can end that quest by basically telling everybody uh, that's not safe out here. You, you better stay inside. Or you can say, you know what, give them a chance and let them out. Uh, but unfortunately, for some reason, it's a timed quest, and uh, if you don't get it with, if you don't go there within an online, it says within 14 days, but I'm pretty sure, <coughs> you know, yeah, it's been way past 14 days. Um, if you don't do that within 14 days, then uh, you're locked out of the quest and you can't do it, which is kind of sad, because um, that would have been really cool to do, to go back to Vault 101 uh, on this series. But unfortunately, we missed that quest. I even loaded the game up. I thought it said for, uh, you have 14 days to do it, so I went outside. I waited a couple of days outside Vault 101, but it didn't happen. It didn't, nothing popped up. Probably because I read it wrong, and I thought it said it after you do that quest, 14 days after you do that quest, then it pops up. But I was wrong. After you do Waters, for the Waters of Life, you have 14 in-game days to do that quest. And if you don't, then you can't do it anymore. So, you know, it's unfortunate. Um, so I guess what we're going to do is, you know, let's just sleep. <coughs> um, let's just check to see if we have anything to sell. Okay, these guys. Okay. Dog meat, you're getting kind of annoying. Oh my god. Really? What is going on? Get, home, get out of my way. Oh my god. Seriously. I'm literally going to blast this guy. There we go. Um, so let's just see what we got here. Because I do want to sell some stuff here. So let's sell that. Sell that. I mean, at this point in the game, we don't really need any money. Or anything. I mean, a good stack of... Uh, what do you call them? Um, stim packs would really probably help out later on. But, um, but other than that, we don't really need anything. Oh, I do got two flamers. Oh, gee, they got like three rock launchers here. Uh, 
Um, okay. I kind of want to use things that I don't really use very much either. So I guess we will bring... Actually, I don't even know what I have with me right now. Whatever. There's things I want to sell. Let's just do that. I'm getting I'm getting sidetracked. So I really don't feel like getting stuck. All of us here thank you. That's cool. Um do 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 do. I'm just gonna tell them the wait outside, because I really don't feel like getting stuck inside there. Something. Uh, no, we found no wait. Where the hell dog? Oh, there's dog meat. Come on, hurry up. Uh, let's see here. Wait, wait, wait. Stay here. Okay. Okay. Let's see if we can buy some stim packs or something. Oh, hey! Oh, I don't want to learn about any of that. Um, look at stuff. Okay. Um, okay, so what do you have? Oh, I'll go take all those. Uh, what ammo do you got? Yeah, okay. Um, we don't really need anything other than that, really. Alright, so we want to use that. Oh yeah, I want to get rid of those too. Um... I guess we, you know what, you know what we'll do, we'll go to the doctor. Don't try it. We'll go to the doctor. I had hoped you'd return. After you guys can wait here. We break my leg. <gasps> Oof, actually did hurt quite a bit. You came in here on your own power. Um, uh, need to buy. Okay. Oof, that's a lot. What? Um, I guess I'll grab those two. And I think that is everything. Oh, well, I guess we can get rid of some of these things. And I think that looks about it. Okay. You done? Um. Yeah, I got a lot of right away. I mean, well, I don't even know. I'm just kind of talking. Okay, so let's <coughs> let's hit up our first place. Um. It is 106. Whoops. Whoa, jeez. And the closest would be Memorial Park. Okay. I mean, most of the... Oh, jeez, what the heck? Oh, right, I told them to wait, so... Ah, oh, crap. Well, I mean, I guess, you know, dog meat and uh, fox, they deserve the rest, so. I mean, I guess they can rest at home. Uh, where am I going? Did my marker disappear? 
this way. Okay. <coughs> oh, more raiders. Get over here. I was actually watching a video on, <coughs> on laser weapons and Fallout. Like how they would work and stuff. Quite interesting, actually. <coughs> oh. oh, this is the farm, I think, right? Oh no, this was the... Uh... Oh, what the hell? Bed and breakfast. Yeah, the bed and breakfast. Oh, I see. Get out of here, rocket launcher. Oh, geez, you already fired it. Oh. How do I take no damage from that? Well, whatever, it doesn't matter. It's mine now. There's one more person in here. Come on, where are you? Oh, you're up there. How are you still alive? I just blasted you with a laser. Come on. Oh, no, you're dead. There we go. Wait, is that everybody? I think. Yeah, okay. Alrighty, so we have... Do, 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 vault. Whatever, whatever. Do, do, do. I think it's up on top of the mountain. Or, no, well, one of six. Right here. No game. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna miss playing Fallout 3. Because <clears throat> Fallout 4, the way how it looks is so different compared to 3 in Vegas. It's like visually. Uh, I mean, the graphics are, are better, yes, but the, it's just different. Um, okay, where are we going here? Empty, empty. Oh, this one's not empty. Do it? No, we don't need metal armor. So I don't remember what this vault's for. Paint gun, scrap metal. We haven't even been doing what we're supposed to be doing with the scrap metal. The whole reason we were collecting it is so we could give it to that guy in Megaton, so we could so we could upkeep the uh, the the pipe repair in Megaton. But we haven't even been doing that. Security terminal. I guess we'll take the combat knife. It's okay. Now here, oh. Oh, it's this one. <coughs> Is this the Gary Vault? Insane Survivor. I think... Oof. Yeah, I remember this vault. This vault's pretty cool. So as you can see, like, <coughs> you keep hallucinating, like, you keep seeing scientists and stuff. But, as you can see, there is none here. I wonder why, I wonder what's going on here. Six, okay.
Oh, there's another insane survivor. I was going to make this episode to explore a bunch of different vaults, but I think I'm just going to dedicate this episode to this vault, I think. <coughs> I can't remember where the terminal is, though. There's supposed to be a terminal that talks about stuff. But I can't remember. Okay, I don't want to go upstairs. Oh, that's the entrance. I don't want to do that. Yeah, there's supposed to be a computer that tells you stuff. Oh, it's locked hard, damn it. Um. Huh? Oh, hey, how you doing? Any officer sword? That's weird. All right, let's uh, let's go down. We got some first aid. It's always good. Um, uh, some ammo here. Oh, more grenades, I guess. Okay. Oh man, there's a lot of stuff here. Oh, more uh, darts. That's always helpful. Oh, electron charge pack. Nice. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, damn it. Man, I broke the lock. God. So I guess we're not going that way now. That kind of sucks. Um, whoa. So this is how the vault used to look. Activate to me. Your brain softworks version of me. A note to me. This place is great. I think it's time to accept the new and embrace this change. Relax. <clears throat> so this is all in your head. What's this? Activate to me. Come on. Don't you like it better here? Breathe in the blue. Relax. You yeah, okay? Please read me. Seriously, this place... Has everything we need. Enjoy it while you're here. Fine, be that way. I have nothing more to say to you. We're through here. Okay. <clears throat> I think they all say the same thing. Yeah, they all say the same thing. Okay. Whoa. And then we come back to reality, and look, everything's all destroyed. So if we go back to these rooms, you can see everything's all destroyed. Nice. Okay. They're all gone. <coughs> Let's go down here. Okay, what is in... Oh, that's no, all barred up. We can't go in there. Oh, more... Oh, that's weird. Uh, so we can go that way. We can go that way. 
Huh? Oof. Just like that. Take that. Oh, it's a bathroom. Okay. <clears throat> I assume this is the bathroom too then. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Air lockpicks. Because of course I am. Oh, it's another bedroom. Don't really need anything here. Yeah, another bedroom. No, it's that's probably another bedroom over there. Oh, to do to do, female dorm, male dorm. Um, I think there's not that many. Yeah, okay. Okay, so I guess we'll go back up. So where we want to go is actually to the science labs. Somehow. Wait. Oh, wait. There's two entrances to the science lab? Oh, I think that's the locked door, isn't it? I think. Could be wrong. Do to do, do, okay. How much you want to bet that locked door <coughs> up here with the lock that I broke is probably the science lab. <coughs> I have a feeling that it is. No, it's not. Okay. Oh, wait. I have to go upstairs. I think it's upstairs. <clears throat> now, how do I get back upstairs? That is the real question. That's broken. Unless I broke the... <clears throat> broke my way and I can't get back now I might have to reload yeah okay let's just reload this all right okay now let's try this again science lab okay Am I going the right way now? Am I, or am I going back? Oh no, I'm not going back. I don't think I went this way before. Or did uh, Yeah, I think I did. Oh. I don't know why my guy would let him get so close to attack him, but... Okay. Yeah, that's the entrance. I want to try something. I wonder if I go like this. <clears throat> no, okay, never mind. Science lab, okay. So, um, Look what we have here. Where? Ah! get out of here. So, that's going to take us down. So, 
So where's the door that I broke? Oh, this one here. Okay, so we have two lock bobby pins here. All right, so we we got in now. Okay, so this is probably the way to the science lab, and I was right. Okay. Okay. So let's continue on our journey. That terminal doesn't work. I guess we gotta go further down. Oh god, lots of blood. Thought I heard something. Huh? Oh jeez. Well. So I guess there's nothing really what's this? Tumblr is today. Oh that's gonna help with lock picking. Okay. Um oh. oh one shot, look at that. I thought hmm. Huh? Oh I know there's a terminal around here that you can read. Oh geez, look at all that blood. That's no good. Scared. Survivor. Oh he's a he's a scientist. Oh there you are. Whoa. There you are. Where? Where? Butch? Oh jeez. Oh, you get. Oh, did I actually get him this time? Vault uniform. Okay. Or, yeah, science. Something like that. Oh, cave. Okay. Hmm. I don't know where the terminal is. Living quarters, living quarters. And we've pretty much done all of all the uh, science. Oh, I don't think. Oh, I haven't been this way. I don't know where the computer terminal is. It's supposed to be one that tells us stuff. Living quarters. Hmm. I don't know where it is. And I really don't want to don't want to be running around this vault for hours and hours trying to I never noticed that I was covering it. I guess we can't go in there. What's in here? Alright, that computer is locked. Um. 
Well, I guess. Since I can't find it, uh, terminal, <coughs> the terminals and entries and stuff, I'll just tell you. Basically, <coughs> the Overseer and vault -Tec were basically uh, doing experiments with uh, hallucin hallucinogenic... Um, yeah, see, here we go again. Um, gases that they were pretty much pumping through the vault. And... Uh, I guess I have more bad guys. Um, and basically, the gas eventually made uh, the vault residents go crazy. And they basically started to fight each other, started to kill each other. It got pretty bad. Um, but we're just going to leave the vault because I can't find <clears throat> anything um, for this one. Which is kind of unfortunate. There is one vault, though. I don't remember which one it is. That is... That I kind of like... It's kind of interesting. I don't know how to get out of here, though. Okay, I'm close to the exit. I'm pretty sure I am. Did I go the wrong way? No, I'm going the right way. Do, do, do. I think it's one one twelve. I think because I don't remember which vault this is. I think this is one oh eight. I think. Oh one oh six. Um. Okay. Um. One oh eight. You cannot travel when enemies are nearby. What enemies? I don't see no enemies. Oh, there's one. Oh, stupid ant. Oh, there's a bunch of them. So we want to go to Robot Repair Center. So we're going to go to this one here. Oh, there's the Raiders here. Why are there robots near the... You'd think the people at Contemporary... Uh, whatever it's called... Canterbury Commons, do you think that they would uh, clear out these raiders? That's pretty close to Canterbury, yeah. Huh. you think that they would, but I guess they guess they're not. They're slacking on their uh, job here. Do do do. Okay, somewhere down here. I think it's just down here. Oh, rat scorpion. Where'd you go? Oh, I'm basically here. Okay. Alrighty, here we are at 108. Okay. Wastelander. So there's one vault. I'm hoping this might be it. Oh, more rat. Is this not the one with the... Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, this is the one I wanted. Okay. Gary 33. <coughs> so if you guys remember way back uh, when we did Operation Anchorage, um, there was a guy, or a body of a guy, named Gary in one of the um, one of the rooms this is where he came ah, from Gary. how do we get upstairs? that's downstairs <laughs> Gary. now I'm hoping I find the terminal for this one because this one's interesting As you can see, they all literally say Gary, but they have a name beside them. I'm not going to give it away just yet. Hopefully you guys can, can figure it out. So all these computers are all shut down too. They're all broken. All right, the lab. weird hmm female dorm all blocked up no game <clears throat> and again the computer is broken Like, I had no chance. He literally just woke up and I uh, was just like, nope. Gary? <laughs> Gary 47. And, <clears throat> and now he's gone. Any of these computers? No. Ah, Gary. Ah. 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 Oh, there's another one. Gary number one. Oh, one shot. Oh, a bobblehead. <sighs> and still no computers. Oh, Gary, 17. Where did he come from? He came from in here. Hmm. What's in here? Oh, let's go upstairs.
Oh, there is a health pack in here. No, that's good. And still, no computer working. I don't understand this. Well, that makes no sense. I don't, I don't understand it. We pretty much looked through vault, this vault here, and we still didn't find anything. Well, I guess I'll explain this vault as well. And that's... Yeah, so for some reason, I don't know why I couldn't find a terminal online. That's really weird. I really don't understand. So basically for this vault... Um, and if you guys remember me saying earlier on... Uh, in the series when we did... Um, Operation Anchorage... Uh, if you guys remember, in the uh, military facility, there was a guy uh, named Gary, and they wanted his pit boy. And basically, long story short, he said no, and the uh, outcast members decided to uh, saw his arm off to get the pit boy. If you guys remember, because for some reason, these version of the pit boys literally graft to your skin. What the hell? Oh, it's just stuck in the rock. Um, if you guys remember, um, basically, the pip, this this version of the Pip Boy, uh, for some reason, uh, grafts to your skin once you put it on. So it's basically stuck on you uh, until you, until you die. Because uh, if you remember, um, I can't remember his name. The one of the vault guys, he made a comment saying you know, that he didn't really have fun taking off the pit boys Because basically, it, literally, you have to literally pull it off their arm. Quite literally. Um, so anyways, uh, they did that. <coughs> and his name was Gary, and he had a number beside it. So that vault, uh, <coughs> what they did was they had a bunch of people in it. And, well, they decided to just random fire over there. Let's go check it out while I'm talking. So basically, um, there was... I just want to check who's shooting at him real quick, and then we'll, I'll go back to my story. Oh my god. Don't come near me. I'm just hoping I don't like back up into like a rock or something. Oh! Holy shit, just... Jesus. So I want to see what he was attacking, and then I'll go back to my story. Oh, the Mr. Gutsy, so nothing special. Um, so yeah, so basically, like I said, there's a bunch of people in that vault, and then they decided, hey, let's try uh, some cloning. Um, and they cloned a guy named Gary. And then they cloned him over and over and over again. And the first few were fine. Everything, you know, everything went well. The first few few were uh, perfectly fine. And then eventually, uh, they just went crazy because, you know, they kept cloning, cloning, and they went crazy. And as, you know, they got violent, as uh, you could see. Uh, and that's what happened. And there's no reasoning with them, unfortunately. Thank God. Water. I'm out. You got to give me some water or I'm done for. 
You just saved my life. Okay. Um. So I guess we'll check out the last vault here. Um. And then while we're checking out the last vault, we'll, um. You know, reflect a little bit on the series, like I said. Ooh, all only. Okay. Oh, God. Yeah, so Death Claws have returned. Nope, nope, nope. You can take that. I just want to get out of here. Alright, hopefully I can jump over the fence with all the th stuff. Because sometimes they have like invisible walls. Ah, damn it, this is an... Is this an invisible wall? I guess it is. Uh, so dumb. Okay. Oh no, he's still alive somehow. I don't know how. Part of me wants to blast him with my plasma rifle, but you know, I'll just leave him for the dice claws. <laughs> okay, so where's that dice claw? Because I don't want to get sneaked up on. Okay, so I guess we should be safe. Yeah. Um. Hmm. You know, I honestly, you know, I am glad. You know, I'll, I'll start the re reflection of stuff. Um. Yeah, I'm really glad that I did Fallout Three. Um. To be honest, because Fallout Three is actually it's as well, it's my very first Fallout that I ever played for one. Um. And it's my favorite Fallout. A lot of people say three, and uh, or no, sorry, a lot. <clears throat> a lot of people say uh, New Vegas is the best one. <clears throat> um, I'm on a Fallout um, Reddit group, and a lot of people say uh, Vegas is there is the the best one, best Fallout, better than four, better than three and all them um but I, I three is my favorite because it's for a couple of reasons actually but let's listen to this professor videotape before i continue on so far the experiment is going exactly as planned we're subjecting the residents to extremely low frequency white noise and regular intervals through the loudspeaker system using the soundproof recording studios the musicians was an inspired idea <laughs> Kudos to the vault Tech Selection Committee on their shrewdness. Yeah, so... Basically, to explain what's kind of going on, this vault um, house, used to house all of the uh, best, smartest mu musicians um, in D.C. So it's kind of a music vault. Um, but anyway, moving forward. So, yeah, so... Um, like I was saying, Fallout 3 is my favorite one, mostly because it's the very first one I played, but also, um, it doesn't, like, it has a different feel to Vegas. Like, it has, it actually has, like, a real apocalypt, uh, apocalyptic feel. Like, it has that feeling of being, <clears throat> like, all alone in, in this huge world where, Everything bad, if anything bad's going to happen, it's going to happen. You know, there's a little bit of, a tiny, tiny little bit of good. But if something bad's going to happen, the bad's going to happen. Um, <coughs> and I just remember doing a lot of quests for the first time. And just being like, wow, this game is so big, so amazing. It, it was actually, it was also my very first introduction to uh, open world games as well. Um, so just the scale of this game 
uh, when I first played it, I, w I was like, wow, where do I even start? I remember uh, Oblivion, which was my second. It was my first introduction to Elder Scrolls, but it was my second um, open world like RPG. And I remember coming out of the sewers of that game and just looking at the map. And that came out one year before Fallout 3, actually, but I played Fallout 3 first. Um, a good friend of mine actually uh, recommended uh, Oblivion to me, but I'm getting off track. Um, so, oh. what the heck? Oh, another one of these. So basically, yeah, I, I remember coming out of the vault, like going back to you know, off the topic of Oblivion. I remember coming out of the vault the first time, like I said, and seeing, you know, this huge world, and, like, honestly not even knowing where to start. And I don't want to say it was overwhelming. It was more, I was more in awe. I was more like, wow, like, this is amazing. I've never seen a game like it before, ever. And, um, you know, I've been hooked ever, ever since. Um, as for, like, recording for this series... For a long, long time, I was always on the fence, like, um, because I did Resident Evil, I've done Devil May Cry, and, you know, all them, and, you know, I started the channel with Resident Evil, of course, um, and, you know, I was always on the fence about doing Fallout, and I was like, I don't know, I don't know, and a very good friend of mine, uh, they heard of Fallout, but they never really seen it. So, I was like, well, you know, maybe, you know, I can do, you know, Vegas for a series where you've never seen it before. And they were like, yeah, we'd like that very much. And then that just kind of took off. And that's kind of how I actually started recording Fallout. I started doing Fallout on the channel. Um, so, that's the, the reason. So, it wasn't like I was like, oh, I'm going to do it. Because I, I wanted to do it, but it, uh, holy crap, I actually found a terminal that's working. Um, and I'm going to get locked out. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> like I said, I was always on the fence of doing it, but, um, you know, I never did it. I always went back to Resident Evil, always doing Resident Evil and then challenges and just putting up random stuff. And like I said, it was... <coughs> a really, you know, good dear friend of mine who, uh, like I said, wanted to see Fallout but never seen it before. So, you know, that's what kind of kicked off Vegas. And um, I enjoyed doing Vegas. I had a hell of a time recording it, though, uh, I'll admit. Um, so a little behind the scenes here. Every single time, if you, if any of you guys who watched my Vegas, New Vegas series, the reason why I saved before every single door pretty much like loading into a new area go, going to a building whatever uh was because <coughs> every single time i clicked on it there was like a 50 50 chance that the game would crash and more times than not the game would actually crash um but let's read this before we continue on i'm a bit encouraged by the latest batch of data seems that 33% of the subjects are now lapsing into a trance-like state on occasion. When in this state, we're fairly certain that suggestion and programming of the subject can be applied. We've begun testing this by implanting subtle cues in affected subjects, making them scratch their ear or constantly fix their hair. So far, I'm happy to report a 100% success rate on this implementation method. <coughs> so basically, they're also using the white noise to control people as well um as you can tell um so yeah so back to the, the story um yeah every single time i um went to a door that's why i saved because more times than not the game would actually crash um yeah but other than that, other than the constant crashing, because like it would take me to make like an hour long video, it would probably to put it all together, uh, probably take me about two hours because of how many extra clips I had to do um, for recording. 
Um, so yeah, it would take me twice. It would take it took me double the time, most not every time, but most of the time to make a video for Vegas. <clears throat> and looking back, I'm never making a four almost a four hour episode ever again. That was crazy long. I literally don't even know why I would do something like that. Because let's be real, um, ninety percent of people who watch this channel. If they're going through my new Vegas and they see that, they're going to skip that. Because who's going to watch like, a four-hour four video? I know at least one person has, but 90% of people are probably going to be like, yeah, no, that's, that's too long. Um, okay, so let's read another note here. Huh. Disaster today. One of our test subjects, B920717, has murdered three other residents in a fit of unbridled rage, the likes of which I've never seen. It took almost 23 shots before the security team took him down. This subject has no history of violence or mental instability whatsoever. My concern is that this subject is one of our most successful implant recipients, able to execute complex instructions during a trance state. <coughs> well, as you can see, it's not his, uh, you know, testing isn't going very good here. Um, one of the pre-war book. Um... So let's actually read this terminal here. A personal diary. Um, overseer access. As per instructions, the broadcast equipment for the white noise has been rerouted from the sound booth and tied directly into the vault or oh, into the entire vault's loudspeaker system. Now we'll be able to execute vault tech confidential plan white noise mind suggestion combat experimentation. <coughs> Uh, I have three of Professor Malice's team doing what I need to get done and hope to show some concrete results soon. I had the engineers make it so the white noise can be either triggered from the control center uh, or at the local security consoles. The password to these consoles is UIY. Basically it's Ulysses. That's what I'm assuming. That's what it looks like. Uh, let's see number two. The results of the white noise uh, are even better than I could ever imagine. The sheer strength and tenacity of combat suggestion implanted in the subjects is incredible. Imagine an entire army of people who would never disobey direct order from high command, you know, and can fight until it takes over 20 bullets to stop them. Malice says that the white noise uh, project is a failure. So there's been a few deaths. One step back, two steps forward. It's easy to suppress what everyone in the vault is calling crazies. I've been, oh, I've added a command word in their suggestion implants. Simply say the phrase sanity is not statistical and they will stop dead in their tracks. I've informed the guards of this. I've told them only to use it when out of sheer earshot of anyone else. Yeah, so they didn't even know that this was happening to them. The command phrase is no longer working against the crazies. I don't know what the hell happened, but I'm not losing control of the situation. If we don't uh, get things under control soon, we're going to have a huge revolt in our hands. Malways is, is citing um, the rest of the vault into action. I'm afraid by the power invested in me and by vault Tech Corporation, I have no choice but to have him killed. What a waste. Wow. Well then. <clears throat> so anyways, back to back to story time. Um, so like I was saying about uh, Vegas and all of its crashing and this and that, I can honestly happily say that I've only, in Fallout 3, I've only had a handful of crashes. Like maybe, maybe four? I want to say five tops being generous. Um, out of all 40, however many episodes, I think this is episode 45. So out of 45 episodes, maybe five crashes, which is pretty amazing. Um, so I've had good luck in that sense. Um, I'm going to, I don't know where I'm going all this way. Um, so I've, I've had <coughs> good luck in that sense. Um, I really enjoyed doing, recording this series. Um... I noted a couple of things that I skipped. 
<coughs> like the moonshine quest, like little things like that that don't, I don't want to say they don't matter, but they're not uh, significant, I guess. They're literally just side things, like little tiny things to do, like go get me moonshine and then you can have some, like, you know, stuff like that, but it's not super important or anything like that. Um, but a lot of the stuff in this game I do like. Uh, there is one place that we're not going to go to. I know I said this before. Um, which is unfortunate because there's a very strong uh, shotgun. Actually, it's the strongest shotgun that you can get in the game. And it's called the Terrible Shotgun. Um, and it's actually in a place called... Um, oh, what is the place called? I think I've been near it. Um, whoops. Oh, what's the place called? Paradise Falls? I think. I think it's in Paradise Falls. There's like an underground cave that you can go there and... Basically, that's where all of the, um... <clears throat> all the writers hang out. Um, oh, what the hell? My alert. What the hell? I don't remember these guys being down here. Oh, I got him. Um, yeah. So, like I was saying, unfortunately, we're not going to go there for a couple of reasons. Um, just to save some possible, um, I guess, trauma for some people. I guess it'll make it easy to say. Uh, I'll just say what's there. Um, there. So, it's a hangout place, obviously, for raiders. It's like their main base. Or, not raiders, slavers, I mean, sorry. <clears throat> uh, it's like their main base. Or maybe it's not Paradise Falls. I'm not sure. I know that there is a raid. <clears throat> maybe it's a raider base. I don't know. It's either a raider base or a slaver base. I can't remember exactly where it is. I thought it was um, Paradise Falls. Maybe it's not. No, that's where UOC Jones is. So, yeah, I can't remember where, where it is. But it's a place uh, in Fallout 3. And it's basically where all the raiders, uh, like their their main base, pretty much. Um, and there's a couple of things. Like I guess didn't want to show it on screen. Um, there's in this cave, there's like these um, dancing poles that are set up. But around the dancing poles, there's like teddy bears and like toys and stuff like that. So it kind of shows. Or not shows, but it kind of, it, it hints, very, very much hints towards, um, how do I word this? Um, I guess children entertaining the raiders, I guess, is the uh, softest way to put it. Uh, cause like I said, there's like the stripper dance poles, and then you'll see like teddy bears and toys around them and stuff, and chairs and everything, and... I just didn't want to have that imagery on, uh, on the series. I mean, I know Fallout 3 can be pretty dark, and we've seen some pretty messed up things, but I didn't really want to, like, you don't see them dancing, you don't see anything like that, but it's more of like the, the... That's one thing Fallout 3 is very good at, uh, implement, er you know, world building, and, like, if you look at something, uh, example, like, you walk into a house, and you see some skeletons in the, in the bathtub with a toaster, uh, <clears throat> obviously, you know, the war happened, everything bad was going on, so they, you know, threw a toaster in, and they killed themselves, right, so it's, like, world building, and, <clears throat> you know, stories through the environment, that's what I'm trying to, t that's what I was trying to say, uh, environmental storytelling, it's in, uh, follow three, and Vegas do a very, very good job at that. Um, <clears throat> and that was, and that's one of the, uh, part of the environment in that radar area. It's, it has the pole, and <clears throat> like I said, it has the toys around the, around the, uh, the pole and all that, and I didn't want to have the imagery or <coughs> that, um, I don't know the proper word for it, where 
it just like you look at it and you go oh i know what that's for or i know what happened here i guess that environmental storytelling and i didn't want to have that on screen <coughs> um so that's why we're not going there and i don't remember it's, it's yeah i don't yeah it's not paradise falls paradise falls it's the is the um the slaver area we should really go there and clean that place out before we finish uh <coughs> before we finish, before we finish the series maybe we'll do that in the next episode clear out paradise falls so maybe we'll add an extra uh, episode so we'll have three more episodes instead of two because that's what we want to do. we'll bring fox and we'll bring dog meat and uh we'll bring our fat man and we'll just like blow the hell out of uh paradise falls kill all the raiders and because there's children that are there um and we gotta save the children that's actually an alternate way to get into uh murder pass in um little lamplight you can go save you can go there he uh mccready tells you about kids uh you go and save the kids to come back and he says hey you're not too bad and then you leave or then you can go in but we were able to talk our way in but I think, yeah, I think maybe the next episode we'll go in and we'll uh, wipe out all the raiders. I think that sounds, you know, a pretty, uh, pretty good thing to do. Because raiders, uh, they, they shouldn't uh, be allowed to uh, survive in our wasteland. So uh, I, think that's, I think that's what we're going to do. <coughs> um, but yeah, um, as I was saying, I, I really do enjoy doing Fallout 3. I, won't, I don't know. I think... I don't know which one I like doing better out of 3 and... Uh, oh, jeez. I don't know why there's Myrlix here. I don't know which one I like doing better out of, out of 3 in Vegas. Um, I don't want to say Fallout 3 because then it would feel like just because I'm doing Fallout 3 now. Um, and I don't want to say Vegas either. I, I really like doing both. Um, what the hell? I'm gonna... I don't know why there's uh, Myrlurks here. This is actually really strange, and I'm not making this up. You <coughs> Sometimes, I don't want to say I'll pretend, but like, I've played these games a bunch of times, so some things I do forget. You know, so I don't, I don't pretend, I don't make things up. <clears throat> I don't, but oh. I, I, I gen, genuinely don't know why there's Myrlurks here. Like, there's no water source nearby or anything, and this is a, a music vault. I have no idea. <clears throat> um, but yeah, like a, what the, another one. But yeah, like I was saying, again, let's try this again. Um, yeah, I, I don't want to just say, um, like I said, I don't want to say Fallout 3, because then it would be like, oh, well, it's just because they're doing 3 now, and I don't want to say Vegas either. Um, I enjoyed, I enjoyed recording them both, but I like them, like, I like them a lot equal, um, I can't even talk, e uh, ooh, uh, e uh, <laughs> I can't even talk, um, out of the two, I do personally like Fallout 3 better. But that's only because, I mean, that was the very first follow that I ever played. Um, I don't remember if I came down to the labs or not. Uh, but yeah, like I said, so... Oh wait, I think I did. Yeah, because I was locked hard. Um, so yeah, let's get out of here. There is more to this vault. You can find a, vi a violin and a... Um, oh, what do you call it? violin and uh some sheet music <clears throat> but i'm not too sure where they are we're more so just exploring this folks we haven't been in here yet more so just looking around well you know while we talk um but yeah i personally like three better than vegas only from the standpoint because i've that was the very first one that i played um do i play vegas more right now at this current moment probably i would say yes um i already came from there um i would say yes only because there is more content 
in uh, New Vegas than there is three. Um, but yeah. <clears throat> How do I get out of here? I'm just gonna walk around in a circle. Um, oh, I see. I gotta go downstairs, I think. Whee! I think this is the right way. Yeah. Um, I have to say one of my favorite quests, though, in Fallout 3 would have to be probably Superhuman Gambit. I really, really liked uh, the whole superhero thing. I remember I actually, this is a long, like, you know, probably a few years ago now, a long time ago, I was doing a playthrough of Fallout 3, and I literally played the entire, the whole game, the whole story, everything, as I used to antagonize your suit, and I had this whole, like, Ant-Man persona character that I built, and, uh, oh, there's another one. Do I really want to take it on? Uh, what, do, what weapons do I have on me? Do I got the Fat Man? No, of course I don't have the Fat Man. Why would I have the Fat Man? Um, but anyway, I had this whole persona of, you know, um, my character, uh, being Ant-Man. <coughs> and, uh, as you can see here, the dart gun, oh god, uh, doesn't do crap against, uh, scorpions, dude. Ah, I'm stuck. Now you can see why I said with Fox with me, it makes the game like a lot easier. Oh, for are you serious? This is terrible. Wait, they're fighting each other. Who's gonna win? Probably the Death Clock that damaged the uh, Scorpion a lot. Yeah, he's not taking any damage. Nope. After this, I'll continue story time. All these things keep interrupting us. I honestly didn't know that Colonel Autumn's laser pistol was this strong. Like, jeez, that's pretty, like, it's that strong. Um, okay, so what was I saying? I can't remember. Oh, right, right, right. Okay. Um, so yeah, there was a character, like I said, I, um, basically did, like, a whole, like, superhero playthrough. <clears throat> um, one of the first quests that I did was I, uh, went and got the ant suit. I did the whole superhuman gambit quest. And, uh, yeah, I got the suit. And yeah, day daytime I would play as my regular character. Nighttime I would actually switch and use the uh, antagonizer suit and be uh, Ant Man. It was it was pretty interesting. Um, <coughs> so I'd have to say that's one of my favorite quests that I've ever done in Fallout Three. Um, another Enclave soldier. So that was a good one. I was pretty excited to do that one on the series on the channel for you guys. Um, Stupid on place, guys. What's another thing that I like doing? Um, trying to think of another quest that I really like doing. Um, as much as people find it annoying, I did like uh, Brian Wilkes. I did like his uh, his quest. Um, when you go. And you find out that uh, his father was actually part of the Enclave when they moved all the way from the uh, West Coast to the East Coast. A lot of people find little Brian Wilkes annoying for some reason. I guess because, like, after you get so far in the story, near the beginning of the game, um, he pretty much chases you, and he'll find you wherever you are. And then, like, that's the, the ant quest. Uh, if you guys remember, we did the ant quest. Um, 
I guess we'll just put this on now. <coughs> um, where the ants spit fire and all that. Um, that one was actually pretty difficult. That one took us a little bit of time to do. <coughs> if I remember correctly, that one that one was pretty a little bit of a pain. Um, but I I like that quest. That was pretty interesting. And um, I remember when I first did it, and I was like, because I like I said I played Fallout Three first, so I didn't really know much about the Enclave because the Enclave was first introduced, if I remember correctly, was in Fallout Two. And I never played, at that time, I never played 1 and 2. I've played bits and pieces of 1. I've tried to, but I didn't really understand and get too far. One of these days, I am going to play 1 and 2. I don't know if I'll do them on the channel or not. Because um, apparently they're even longer than uh, 3 in Vegas. Um, but anyways, I remember doing that quest and... Um, you know, it's like, oh, this guy, you find out later on that this guy was part of the, or part of a mil or, uh, military organization that kept chasing them down. And then, I guess the word enclave was in one of the terminals, I can't remember. It's been a while since we've been to that, uh, we've been to Andale? No. I can't remember the name of the town. Um, but yeah, so basically he, <coughs> uh, Brian Wilstad was part of the enclave. And then, you know, they got killed by the ants, unfortunately. Um, oh, that's pretty messed up. Well then. Um, the Enclave was like, I guess, they're like, didn't want these wastelanders to leave. And the guy burned them all up. It's pretty messed up. Um... But yeah, and then like I said, and then I guess later on playing New Vegas, I guess that quest kind of made it made that quest a bit more cool, like a bit more. I liked it a bit more. Um, cause the only thing was in New Vegas, and then you learned a little bit more about them in uh, New Vegas as well. So then coming back and playing Fallout Three, um, and then doing that quest and stuff, you know. <clears throat> about the enclave and stuff, right? You know more about them. And then, uh, I don't know, it just makes the quest a little bit more interesting because you, you know more about that organization. And there's a Deathclaw way over there. I see him. Ooh, a robot. What's up? Oh, you're already damaged. Your legs are already hurt. And he's gone. Um, yeah, like I said, so, yeah, I, I made that quest was, I liked it a little bit more too. I, quite, a, quite a lot of people actually find Brian Wilkes, uh, you know, annoying. A lot of people don't like him for some reason. I don't know. He's just a little kid, or I can't say little, he's probably like maybe 10, maybe 12, I don't know. Um, but yeah, he's just a young boy in the wasteland scared looking for someone to help him right and uh whenever i do quests i always make sure to help him um have we been here yeah we've been here oh really you're gonna come on i guess the enclave see me and they're gonna try and beat me down now the cool thing is you can actually blow their ship up or blow up the vertebrae No, you're not taking off. Ow. Fuck you. Oh, uh, he's lucky. He got <laughs> they got away. Okay, you know what? You're ruining. You, these guys are ruining story time. Um, fuck these guys. That's one. <laughs> That's what you get. And you're still alive somehow. No.
Oh, the Enclave, or I bought. I'm probably going to miss this shot. Oh, I didn't. Look at that. Awesome. <clears throat> oh, he's still... What the heck? How are you still alive? Get out of here. Where did the other guy go? I know he went over there and over there and over there. Whatever. Um, same guy. <clears throat> I guess we'll talk about a couple more quests. Because, oh Jesus. Because we're only, we're almost at, you know, an hour and a half here. And I don't want to make this episode, like, like crazy long, like you know. Um, okay, you're not doing anything. What the heck? No, Wastelander, no. That Wastelander is gonna die. Yep. <laughs> oh my god, he gets blown up. Ugh. I wanted to save the Wastelander, but. I mean, it's kind of their own fault for kind of running right into that. Get out of here. Um, hmm. Let's see. One. We'll talk about two more quests that I like. Um. Tranquility Lane was pretty cool. Uh, the one where you go into the VR pod thing where you have to save your dad. That one was really cool. I like that one. Um, I like how you can do different things. <clears throat> you can help the overseer. You can torture the residents. Or you can, you know, <coughs> be the goody two-shoes guy and, you know, stop him. Uh, that, one, that one was pretty interesting. Um. Hmm. I'm not sure. I can't really think of any more. <coughs> I think what, I, what we're gonna do is actually. I think we're gonna end this episode here. Cause we are we are <coughs> already getting on almost an hour and a half here. Uh, in the next episode, wait. You can't travel because there's an. Oh, really? Get out of here, Rat Scorpion. Um, in the next episode, maybe, if I remember, maybe we'll uh, talk about some more quests that I like. Because then, then in the next episode, we have to uh, <coughs> go and wipe out uh, Paradise Falls. That's what we're going to do in the next episode. Oh, right, we need our friends before we end the episode. I wish there were more people. We need our good, bestest, bestest friends in the wasteland. Hopefully they had a good rest. I had hoped you'd return. What now? Well, now we're going to go home. All right. I think instead of ending the episode at home, I think what we're gonna do is I think we'll end it. You know, we never we've never sat at this table before in this uh, in this series. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna sit here, <coughs> and our character is gonna socialize with the people of Megaton until uh, until the next episode. So let's save this right here. And we are going to end this here. So, I didn't get to talk about everything I wanted to talk about today. Because um, we were talking about quests and 
other things as well. Um, maybe in the next episode as well. Because um, I remembered Paradise Falls. And I'm like, well, we gotta, we got to stop Paradise Falls. So what we're going to do is we're going to end all the slavers at Paradise Falls. And save who we can. <clears throat> and then uh, after that is, I believe, is when we're going to start part one of uh, Who Dares Wins. And that's what it's called. The final uh, assault on the Enclave. Um, but that's not going to be the next episode. next episode is going to be, um, you know, we're like I said, we're going to be getting rid of all those ra er, slavers. So <clears throat> if you can't wait to see that, if you enjoyed this video and the things that I had to say, uh, feel free to leave a like, like uh, leave a comment. Uh, tell me, tell me some of your favorite things that you've enjoyed about Fallout 3 so far. Characters or uh, quests, uh, locations, anything. Tell me anything that you like about Fallout 3, and uh, leave it in the comments. And uh, you know, I'll see them and I'll answer them. And, uh, you know, I will see you guys in the next episode of uh, Fallout 3. Until then, have a very good day.